All right, now to some more serious news. Right? Yeah, the latest on the Capitol riots less and newly released video that allegedly shows a federal appointee of former President Donald Trump storming the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. Yeah, Chief investigative reporter Eric Flack is here with us tonight in the studio to break these videos down for us. Flack, so WUSA 9 obtained these videos once again from the Department of Justice through a legal challenge. That's right, Les. Our parent company, Tegna, was one of the first members of a coalition of national news organizations that sought court orders to unseal body camera videos related to the Capitol insurrection. These latest videos we got our hands on allegedly show a man named Federico Klein. He's a Trump appointee to the U.S. State Department attempting to steal a riot shield from an officer in the midst of a frenzy battle line of rioters versus police. Federal prosecutors say that man in a red MAGA hat and green jacket is Federico Klein, who was serving as one of former President Trump's appointees to the State Department when he allegedly joined a violent pro-Trump mob in the Capitol tunnels on January 6th. This is the moment where the man identified as Klein reaches down and tries to take a riot shield away from police battling the crowd before he allegedly picks up a large metal pole instead. This video was one of two pieces of evidence in the case against Klein released in an ongoing effort by WUSA 9 and other news outlets to push for more transparency from the ongoing January 6th investigations. Sir, let go of the door and leave the Capitol. Back up. No, stop, stop. Klein faces eight charges in connection with the riot, including allegations that he attacked officers with a police riot shield. Now, that cannot be seen on the newly released video, but it is pictured in screen grabs included in charging documents. In the other video clip that was released by the Department of Justice. Interlock the shields! Lock them together! Lock them together! Capitol and D.C. police officers can be seen creating a shield wall as they work to swap out reinforcements for exhausted officers. We need an avenue of escape, so wait to lock this one in. Go ahead. Get him back. Towards the end of that clip, an unidentified woman in the crowd can be seen screaming for help as she is crushed between the mob and that line of riot officers. Now, Federico Klein resigned from the State Department two weeks after the riot and was arrested in March after a number of witnesses, including a former State Department co-worker, saw his picture on an FBI wanted poster and turned him in. Lest he is out on bond as he awaits trial. A lot of people have done the very same thing, looking mm -hmm. at pictures, seeing family members, seeing friends and saying we can't reconcile these two things. Yeah. You got to let people know about it. Thanks, E. Now an update about the remaining fencing around the Capitol. Sources tell the Associated Press the Capitol Police Board wants to remove the fence by this Friday. It went up after the January 6th attack. In March, Capitol Police removed an outer fence, but this one remains. Meantime, congressional leaders are working on a plan to safely reopen the building to visitors. Between the pandemic and the attack by Trump supporters, this icon of American democracy has been closed to the public for 16 months. That is the longest it has ever been closed in its 200 year history. The Capitol usually has millions of visitors every year, many of them around this time for the fourth. If and when those tours return, they will include new health and safety protocols.